guys, alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a contact form, not a contact form, but so someone can fill it out and it'll email it to you. Um, and you guys aren't going to have to do barely any coding, maybe one or two lines, but I already did the coding, you guys can download it. Alright, so let me just show you where we're going to, we're going to make something like this, where you can like type in your email address at gmail.com. Um, you can do that. Then, oh wait, I have to enter a valid one there, I guess. Um, well, uh, to do a valid one. Um, explore tutorialheels.com, name Jason, URL, I won't put anything, Jason, I was just right, Jason, hello, hit submit. All right, and now if we go to my email and we get mail, you can see that right here it says the email who it's from, and when we click on it, so you can see the email URL nothing, comment was Jason hello, email my email or the email that I put in, and name Jason. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to make that. All right, so how you make that is we're going to do command N. I'll do a blank page. I guess. Alright, create and I'll write this or this is my form. Highlight it. Um oops, wrong thing. Get a heading one and turn. Alright, so first um we'll name it form test. Alright, and I'm gonna save it in my site. And you have to do this within your site. Alright, and we're going to name this uh, form underscore test and hit save. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to, um, well first I'm going to insert, go to common, insert a table, make it one by one, and hit OK. Alright, and I just do this because I want it in the center, I want my form in the center. Alright, hit return a couple times, like right about, uh, right about there. I'm going to save it first, and then I'm going to go to forms, right here where it says spry validation text field. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to make the ID name. The ID you always want to do all lowercase, just only letters. Alright, and now this is going to be, oh, oops, name, and you know what, wrap with label, before an I or before before form item. Hit OK. You wanna hit yes. Now hit return a couple times. Um one, two, three. I like having around one space, one line in between. Now let's make another one and call it email. And then we're gonna write email. And then we're gonna wrap this wrap with label tag. And see, this is just the same word, just it's different. I uh, just went lowercase, all right? Now, one, two. All right, now let's have this be URL, URL, all right? And now we're going to hit return one more time, or actually, yeah, right there. And now we're going to choose this one where it says spry validation text area. Now we're going to name this comments. I'm gonna write comments. All right, all right. Now we're gonna edit this a little bit. So I'm gonna select this right here, and I'm going to do required blur change, and this name we're gonna do custom, and hint is gonna be all right. First, last. All right, and then text area. For email, I'm going to select email address, invalid format, blur, change, hint, example at example.com, enter. Now, URL type is URL, and then the invalid format, blur, change, and then we're going to uncheck record because I don't want it to be required. Now comments, just so everything looks nice, hit return. Now here, 
I'm going to make it required, blur, change, max, I'm just going to do 500 because that's normally a good thing. All right, now we're going to do characters remaining. And right here where it says preview status, you want it to say um, exceeded max number of um, characters. All right, now we're going to save this. All right, and now I have to find it here. We named it form test. So, oh, where is it? Form test right here. And the trick is if we upload it, nothing's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is, all this text right here, just going to select it, hit. Well, actually, you know what, I'll just do it here. So, if you haven't noticed, I've been doing, like, here, well, I guess, there's a, where do I get this? Yeah, if I, if you select on here, if you select this thing, it'll say, see, email. And I click on here, or email, URL, and this is called comments, all right. Now, if we look at back at the PHP thing that you're going to have a download link below um, in the description, you can see that right here we have the same thing, email, email, name, name, comments, comments, URL, URL, and also right here, name, name, email, email, comments, comments, URL, URL. And that means, so this is basically telling it to do it. All right, so um, now what we have to do is select this little red thing in action. We have to put it right here. So, and that, the, this file right here, the contact form process.php that has to be in the same um, site folder as this page right here. So we're going to name it, it's called contact form process.php. Enter. And the method we want to be post and um, target. Uh, let's leave it at just nothing. All right, now we will save this, and this thing right here, form underscore test, I'm just going to upload it.